Balake. Where is Balake at? My name's Blake. Do you want to go to war, Balake? I'm for real. A.A. Ron. A.A. Ron is present, everyone. Thank you for joining me for more SPTV, where every day is a great day not to be in a cult. Sometimes, guys, here on SPTV, we just like to have a little bit of fun. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit of fun. And uh, that's what we're going to do today, something a little lighthearted. Guys, I received so many comments, emails, Facebook messages, Instagram messages about um, a, a massive YouTube channel called uh, Sam the Cooking Guy dropping a little SPTV Easter egg in the video that he posted yesterday. And I want to share this with you guys. And I'm going to tell you why this is so funny or why this was so for, for me. I absolutely love when YouTube worlds collide. Like when I first um, when I had uh, the first collaboration or the first time I had Tommy Scoville on my channel, whose, whose channel is uh, The Lifeboat, uh, Captain Tommy Scoville. Uh, I could not believe how many people in the comment section were like, oh my God, I never thought I would see my two favorite YouTube channels uh, uh, do a collaboration or, or a crossover. And, um, and this channel I'm about to show you, my kids love this channel because my kids cook you know i have three daughters 16 14 and 12 and my oldest has been cooking like for real cooking since she was like seven or eight anyway let me just show this to you because i think you guys are going to find this hilarious and then we're, we're going to talk a little bit more about it check okay i'll show you the channel here this is sam the cooking guy an absolute beast of a channel at 3.6 million subscribers and this guy's videos are so funny his personality his sense of humor his timing his style um uh, uh, interestingly enough it's not dissimilar to mine even though we're doing different kinds of content okay check this out oh i'll give you a little setup he's he's cooking a recipe that is chicken cooked in milk and water and uh the original video with this recipe has 64 million views. And so they're like, you know what? Uh, let's just check it out and see how it goes. Check out the uh, SPTV Easter egg here. Come on in. And everything happens for now in this pan right here, right below me. We begin with chicken legs. And after watching this recipe, I'm pretty certain you could use any cut, any part you like. But what do I know? I grew up in a cult. Okay, I didn't. It's just a line from a YouTube channel I watch. Now here comes... <laughs> I couldn't believe it. It so tickles me that other big channels, I mean, behind any big channel is just a normal human being. So it's not like, oh my God, but, but it just tickles me that he's watching this show. And so I declare Sam, the cooking guy, the honorary SP of the week right here on SPTV growing up in Scientology. You start dropping SPTV Easter eggs. You gotta be honorary SP of the week. <laughs> And so this is okay. So once I saw this, I'm like, oh my God, I got to tell my girls. I'm going to, this is going to make me dad of the year, at least for the week. <laughs> and, um, and my girls are off on a, on a little camping excursion uh, with my wife right now. And I called him up. I'm like, get him on speakerphone, get him on speakerphone. And I'm like, hey, hey, girls, 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 you heard, you heard of the channel, Sam the Cooking Guy. And they're like, yeah, I'm like, I'm going to send you a link. I'm going to send you a link. I want you to play it while you're on the phone with me. And they're like, oh, my God, Dad, that's crazy. OK, so not only do my girls love to cook, I mean, particularly so my 15 year old. Uh, no, I'm sorry, my 16 year old. So she's been cooking. I mean, cooking, cooking, like real cooking, not like mac and cheese. I mean, like real, real shit. Um, and also baking seriously since she was like seven years old, but she's 16 now and she's got a job and she's got a car and she's got friends and a life. So she, she, she ain't spending as much time at home cause she's too cool for school now. So her younger sister, our 14 year old, she's the one that does all the cooking right now. And I mean, like, you know, she's going to the Asian markets, she's going to the middle Eastern markets. She's getting all the exotic ingredients. She's experimenting with recipes. And last year, they asked me to help them start a little YouTube channel. So my girls have a little cooking channel of their own that once they started it, 
And once they got a couple of videos up, something happened that I, they've never explained to me. They got embarrassed and they got a little embarrassed about it and they didn't want to do it anymore. But I'm going to get them back on that horse. I'm going to show, I just want to show you for shits and giggles, the, the channel that I helped them. Uh, they, they did all the recording and everything themselves. And I did the editing. And if I had to do it again, I would probably edit it a little differently. So check this out. The channel was called Less Talking, More Cooking. And we came up with the name of that channel after they did their first video. And you'll see why. Check this out. I got to show this to you. I'm so I'm so proud of this little video they did. Come on. All right, we'll fast forward. We'll fast forward. Yeah, ground that pork. Add that chili oil. Dumplings. and of course i misspelled refrigerate because i grew up in a cult guys oh my god so anyway this was just a, a little bit of fun this was just a little bit of fun i was like okay so they recorded this first video um i think i looked at it, it was like almost almost exactly a year ago and this is back when i was um i guess i probably had forty thousand subscribers i've actually gone from 40 to 40,000 to 170,000 in one year. It's pretty crazy. And people ask me, how do you do it? I go, the key, upload every day. If people like what you do, they like watching you, they like listening to you, they like what you do, they want to see as much of it as possible. So just upload every day. But anyway, I was just starting to have growth in my channel um, back at that time. And I was like, girls, <gasps> girls. You could start your cooking channel and I could promote it on my channel. You guys could be the coolest kids in school. Have your own YouTube channel. It'll be amazing because you can never run out of things to cook. There's always something you can cook. And uh, the whole thing of not talking and just like, um, you know, uh, sort of help them with their kind of being camera shy. I'm like, you don't have to talk. You don't have to perform. Just cook it'll be hilarious so anyway we'll see if i can get them to pick it back up again oh guys i would i would be remiss if i did not mention the fact that the 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 live stream that we did yesterday the fundraiser for the aftermath foundation the hundred and seventy thousand subscriber game you guys are unbelievable we have raised over fifteen thousand dollars from this subscriber game absolutely incredible so i'm gonna say we will 100 percent be doing um that again every 10,000 subscribers will make a big deal about it guys a fifteen thousand dollar fundraiser for the foundation in one day let me put that into perspective in the five six or seven years the foundation has been um created i i honestly can't remember um i lose track of the years <sighs> There have maybe been two one-off um, donations from other privately held foundations that really are moved by what we do. Some privately held foundations, maybe on two occasions I can think of, have made single donations to um, the Aftermath Foundation that were greater than $15,000. Um, beyond, but behind that, or ahead of that, I should say, uh, the SP Shop, www.thespshop.com. Uh, the website that Mark and Claire Headley created and run and operate uh, to sell merch for the Aftermath Foundation. And the merch, I guess, has been the bobbleheads, the SP bracelets. I feel like there was something else in there for a while, but I forget what it was. The SP shop is the single biggest contributor to the Aftermath Foundation. Um, I, I hesitate to put a number on it, but I will say it's I'm going to say it's easily. By now, it has to be in excess of fifty thousand. I, I could be wrong on that. It has to be in excess of fifty thousand dollars. The SP shop has generated for the Aftermath Foundation. So, 
other than the SP shop and other than a couple one-off donations from large foundations, yesterday's fundraiser was the single largest contribution to the Aftermath Foundation behind those items. That's huge, guys. That's huge. And th that is all on you. You guys did that. So thank you very much. Uh, it really is truly, truly incredible. David Miscavige only wishes that Scientology had as much goodwill with the community um, as the Aftermath Foundation has with all of you guys. Honestly, it's truly, truly moving. Uh, let me see. Uh, that's all. I, all this was just going to be a fun video to show you guys Sam the Cooking Guy and uh, name him Honorary SP of the Week. Uh, let's see. Bill, I'll, I'll see a few super chats here. Bill Kennedy, if you were appointed to take over David Miscavige's position, how would you change Scientology? Interesting question. Um, it implies that I think Scientology, uh, the world would even be a better place or it would be even be relevant or pertinent or important to change Scientology. And I don't know that Scientology is worth changing because at the, end of the, at the end of the day, it is a scam. At the end of the day, if Scientology only called itself an, uh, 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 a benign spiritual philosophy that uh, people should participate in just to feel better about themselves, fine. Maybe it would not be a destructive, uh, destructive at its DNA, but Scientology isn't that. And sign it's against the rules of Scientology to promote it as that. Scientology uh, at its that level, you know, at its bones, its DNA, um, uh, markets itself as the single solution, the single key, the one way, way to re the one way to regain your eternal spiritual freedom, to escape the cycle of birth to death, to uh, <laughs> uh, re regain your immortality. And it, that's a scam. That's bullshit. So I wouldn't bother changing it. But just to play the game here, um, you would have to get rid of enforced disconnection. Now, somebody would say, well, if you do that, the whole house of cards comes crumbling down. Probably totally true. But if the answer, if the question is just how, what could you change about Scientology to improve it? The answer would have to be, regardless of the ultimate consequence, um, cancel enforced familial disconnection, um, uh, uh, cha uh, change the rules so that uh, children were not allowed to train as auditors and you were not allowed to audit uh, someone under the age of, of consent or majority, I should say, under the age of majority. Um, what else would you have to change in Scientology? Oh, um, uh, you'd have to lower the prices and you'd have to remove the requirements to make donations. Now, now on some level, you'd go, well, then it's no longer Scientology. And you go, okay, I don't care. That, the question was, what would you change? <laughs> that's what I would change. And um, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's my answer. I hope that's a good answer. Thank you, Bill. All right, let's see. Dave Owens, your girls should say, we know stuff because we didn't grow up in a cult. Yes. Oh my God, you absolutely nailed it. Yeah, we know that because we didn't grow up in a cult. You know what my, do, what my kids do do, what they do say? Uh, they know that I never went to high school. <laughs> they know that I left school after the seventh grade. I was pulled out of public school after the sixth grade. But technically, in the eyes of the law, I believe we completed the seventh grade uh, in homeschool. But that's where my education, that's where my formal education ended. They are very aware of the fact they have, that they have more formal education than I do. And they take every opportunity to let me know. You wouldn't understand, Dad, because you didn't go to high school. <laughs> I love when they tease me. It's amazing. Okay. Kazi, Kazri T. Aftermath donation total from yesterday's live. Um, you know, I know I said 15,000, but let me pull it up and give you an exact. My anxiety kicks in as soon as there's like five seconds of dead air. Um, okay, let's see. What is it at officially here? Officially, it is officially it's at $15,306. And that does not include a whole bunch of people in countries like Canada and Australia who said, for some reason, the YouTube system won't let me make a payment online, but I was able to go uh, to the Aftermath Foundation website and make a payment. And so I'm not, I'm not even counting that. So um, there you go, guys, $15,306. It doesn't get a whole lot better than that. And just wait, guys, just wait. Because what is today, Thursday? By the way, you guys know Thursday's trash day. Hope you guys had a good trash day. I know I did. My favorite day. Um, tomorrow, 
tomorrow is going to be the launch of the documentary about one of the most incredible stories um, of someone the Aftermath Foundation has helped. And just wait, guys. We're gonna we're trying to do a coordinated launch over a whole bunch of channels so it gets the broadest possible reach. Um, every channel that publishes the video at the same time, the video will be a fundraiser. Um, honestly, it's going to be quite an event. It's going to be quite something. So anyway, thank you everyone who's participated in, in what we did yesterday and today. And thank you everybody who will participate tomorrow and, and in the coming days. It really is an incredible time. All right, everyone. Um, I, 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 I probably have more coming later this evening. So stay tuned for that. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you to everyone who watched until the very end. And I'll talk to you. Okay, if you want to see my rock and roll songs, click right on this guitar. And if you want to see an, a different one of my videos, uh, then you could click right inside here. If you have subscribed or not, subscribe 